hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we are doing a one year both hair botox update so it's been a year since i got my hair botox for the first time ever and i am going to update you on what my hair is currently looking like one year after the botox i know i said before that i was going to do it sooner like redo the botox like in six months but i didn't really see a reason why because i initially got the botox for summer because summer is so humid and disgusting down here in south florida my hair gets so frizzy so um during the school year it's not that that bad and i usually have my hair tied back anyway so it's kind of like a waste of money um so i decided to wait a whole year for the summer again to redo the botox i do want to thank everybody that tuned into my five month update if you haven't seen that please click on the little link that i will attach here so you you guys can see it and i explain a little bit more what the hair botox is um so today i'm just going to show you guys how i would style my hair when i first got my botox so we can kind of compare from then to now how my hair kind of reacts to the outdoors and to the hair products and stuff so you guys can kind of see what that looks like and i'm going to answer some questions for you guys as well that i seen down in the comments in my last video from my five month update so you guys can also um kind of get a few questions answered I'm actually getting my botox done tomorrow so i'm going to give you guys a little sneak peek of how my hair looks after the botox um we're going to just jump right into apply some products so you guys can see what it looks like fresh out the shower wet with a few products in and then we will um talk about what i think of my hair after one year i'm like literally fresh out the shower so i didn't like um wash wash my hair because it's like second day here sorry i had to bring the camera down i was a little high okay so this is basically my hair fresh out the shower so it has like a little bit of waves going on kind of like my old hair did you see like it still has like some type of curl um the front is what where it's like the most straight as you guys can see um these hairs are not as curly i don't know if you guys can tell i'm gonna bring it out like this so you guys can kind of see how it's like more waves okay so when i first got my botox um all i was using was basically leave-in and then this is one of the leave-ins that i love to use this is the tejan green tea super moist leave-in conditioner so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my hair like i would have a year ago when i first got my botox so you guys can kind of see like the difference um i'm gonna post a picture here about of how i used to look when i would just put leave-in and it was actually really nice um it was like more of like a little beachy wave kind of look so now you guys can see the difference so um put a lot like this is like literally a lot um so as time passed i could definitely see the growth in my hair um from my roots because it's like frizzy it like wants to frizz it wants to be wild it wants to be untamed and then like the mid part of my hair still is a little bit tamed um perfect example i had my hair blown out and um it was like raining and disgusting at disney and literally my root was like frizzy then i had a strand of stray hair and then like the end was like kind of like a wave it was like the weirdest thing make sure i get it in there so basically i'm just going to put this all in my hair and i'm gonna let my hair air dry so that's going to take a few hours um, and then I will do like a check in afterwards. So I think I have enough in my hair. So another thing that I'm going to go ahead and apply just to, so you guys can see like how crazy my hair is. I'm going to use some of the Eden Natural Curl Defining Cream so that you know you guys can see like I'm using products to promote curl and you'll see when it dries i have nails on i scoop it out the other way and then i just put it on my hand and then i'm literally just gonna go kind of do the same thing i did with the leave-in and just like add it to my hair obviously since i'm like yanking my hair down 
all the waves are like gone so i always try to like scrunch it a little bit i've always had this issue with my hair though like even when i when my hair was curly i'll insert a picture it was still kind of like like it would still like straighten out but my curls would all just and actually look really pretty um why i decided to get the botox done because a lot of people are like oh but your hair was so beautiful curly it's like yeah like for like an hour and then my hair would be so crazy it would be so big so crazy i put all the product in my hair i'm not gonna touch it i'm just gonna let it air dry naturally i'm not gonna diffuse it i'm just gonna let it dry on its own i'm gonna go on with my day i'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup um you know organize do whatever i gotta do today and then i'm gonna show you guys after what my hair looks like when it's dry and then um also i will do a q a at the end of this video i know a lot of you guys had so many questions for me on my five month update so i'm gonna have all your questions answered at the end of this video so, so i will catch you guys in a few hours once all of this is dry so that you guys can get a real look at what my hair looks like one year after Botox and if it lasted a whole year. Okay, so it's been a few hours since I did my hair. And as you can see, it's not like extremely, extremely frizzy. And I was sitting outside in um, humid weather. We were like by the pool and stuff. Sorry, I look like crap today but it's just like a stay home day so i literally don't care so yeah so i pulled my hair back in a clip but look i'm gonna like pull up strands so you can kind of see like how my hair is still wavy i don't know if you guys can see that and then this is a perfect strand to see how like the growth like this is like my old curls and then this is like the botox so it's definitely grown out but it definitely still frizzes like you could see like right here like look at this strand of hair right here you see what i mean like it's not beautiful and i'm gonna pull it out of the clip so you guys can look at it a little bit better um so like for example like these hairs up here are like super straight you see that but like my root is like curly okay so over here it's still like all of my root is what's giving me the volume but like the actual strands here are just like kind of straight and like a little bit dead um i don't want to say dead because it doesn't feel unhealthy it's just like not curly you know so is this kind of hair that i would wear out no because it literally just looks like a freaking bird's nest okay it does get frizzy, uh, more frizzy than before. I'm going to insert a picture of how my hair looked when I first got the Botox done. So you guys can like kind of compare. So that's why like I was a little bit torn because I'm like, do I want to try to get my curls back and just let it grow out and just like screw it. I'll deal with frizzy hair for the rest of my life. Or am I just going to commit to the Botox and do it again so that I don't have to deal with this frizzy hair it's honestly not terrible okay i will say that it's not terrible it's just that my hair for sure gets way bigger like my hair was not getting this big with the botox freshly done it was actually more like down so it didn't look as terrible um so that's like one thing and then it's also a little bit more manageable like i would only have to put like leave-in and then maybe like a little bit of hair cream versus what i did earlier today um so i decided i am going to commit to the botox because it does it is uh easier for me to manage my hair in the summer florida is extremely humid extremely hot and it is just so much easier for me to just do my hair leave it down put it up without it being getting like this frizzy like nest like in here like you can't even like it's still kind of wet and you literally can't like it just looks like 
a mess, okay? That's just my opinion. I'm gonna jump into Q&A uh, of the questions I've been getting a lot on my video of five month update and I'll link it up here if you haven't seen it. Um, so let's get into that. I paid $200 because I do have a lot of hair and at the time my hair was much longer than it is now. So, and my hair like really drank up the product. So it depends on how many like vials they have to use on your hair. So I think if you have similar hair length and thickness, you're probably going to pay about that much. You shouldn't pay more. I live in South Florida and I went in Aventura. It's a little bit far from my house, but that's where my hair salon is. And the lady that always does my hair is the one who did it. Honestly, go to any like small business owned, somebody that you know that does hair, that's good with hair, um, only because you want to support small businesses, you know? So I go to her, It's she owns the salon, she's a hairdresser, so I kind of trust her. Anything with sulfate. So they will tell you, try to use sulfate free, shampoo, conditioner, leave-ins, um, and also beach and pool. Try not to go to the beach and pool without actual conditioner in your hair so that the Botox lasts longer. My Botox honestly lasted me like over six months. When I had my five month update, my hair was still really, really good. Anything that hydrates your hair is gonna be good for your hair with the Botox. Um, just like I said, try using leave-ins, um, try doing hair masks. I'm going to be honest, I kind of slacked on the hair masks after a while because I felt like the Botox was like already fading anyways and I was getting like frizzy hair anyways. So I was kind of like, you know, not buying them as often. But now that I get it, I am going to start purchasing them again. From what I remember, it was L'Oreal. I'm going to check again what brand that she uses this time around. I did hear and I did read in the comments um, in my last video of a diamond filler. Haven't tried that one. I asked one of my friends who is um, new to doing hair about the diamond filler and if she can find it for me and then maybe in like six to eight months I can do the diamond filler and see how it's different. Um, but this time I'm just going to do um, the Botox again. So, um, I think those were my most asked questions. If you have any other questions, please leave them down in the comments below. If you want to see more hair stuff and videos related to that, you know, go ahead and subscribe so you can see when I post and things like that. And then, um, I'm going to show you guys how my hair turns out after my Botox so you guys can kind of get a little look at the difference. So, this is my hair now, curly and just a little bit frizzy. I'm back. And I just got my hair done again. Don't mind my face. I literally look like shit because I didn't do my makeup, obviously, because I was just getting my hair done. Okay, so this is fresh Botox. Um, my hair is like shining like crazy. You guys can see super duper shiny and i feel like honestly like i literally feel like the botox when because she flat irons it all the way out it like stretches my hair out or something because my hair was not this long from what i remember maybe it was i don't know but yeah it looks pretty freaking good it's like super 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 shiny super soft just oh my god i'm in love with it i forgot how much i loved this Botox stuff. The, the only thing I don't love is when I wet it and then it's like this weird like wave. But I, I've learned to work with it. I'm like super duper happy. Once again, Botox part two. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, don't forget to comment down below any other questions. I hope I answered most of your questions in this video. But if you have any other questions, I will try to get back to you. As soon as possible and um again thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you guys in my next one